You're watching a BASS presentation. Well, here we are. It is the weekend, day two here at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite on the Harris Chain of Lakes. Little bit of surprise in the air at the weigh-in yesterday, Such, with a lot of our top 10, most of our top 10, breaking the 20-pound mark. And as we join you this morning, just after takeoff, anglers are heading out there. We're joining you a little bit earlier than normal. We will be firing up a full Bassmaster Live show on Fox Sports 1 in just 15 minutes from now. So we wanted to jump on early for the day two pre-show. Such, any takeaways from weigh-in? Yeah, the rookies are showing us seven rookies in our top 25, Ronnie, rookie leading. Big bags, seven bags over 20 pounds. Kind of surprising, the top weight, John Garrett, 24-2, is a little higher than even last time we were here. And uh, just that top 10, they got it 19 pounds to get in there. I mean, not cut till Sunday, but Monday, they said the big thing this week was there are big fish here, but there are not many in-between fish, but our top 10 obviously caught them, starting with KJ Queen in 10th place after day one. JT Tompkins, we've seen him on Bassmaster Live multiple times, and what a flurry he is had. a winner here at the Harris Chain of Lakes in the past. He is in ninth, and we will watch him on Bassmaster Live. Brock Mosley having a good day one here at the Harris Chain of Almost Lakes. He's got 20 pounds. David Gaston. Big fish. Said he needed this one. He had a rough start to the season, but third event, he has turned it around. 7-13 for him. Joseph Webster, he's been a man all around the country the last couple days. He has been fishing everywhere and made it down here and started strong. Jordan Lee in his return to the Elite Series is right there in contention for Angler of oh, the yeah. Year. Brandon Lester, it would be weird to have a top 10 in Florida without Brandon Lester represented. He is so strong in the Sunshine State. 7-5 in his right hand. Saw a couple seven pounders and Brad Watley had two of them. They're twins, Such 714 and a 712. Had Watley at 22 even, and I believe in third place, John Cox. I think the lone Floridian maybe in the top 10. Had a flurry as well, like JT, just a quick couple of big fish in a row. And our day one leader, John Garrett, may be a rookie on the Bassmaster Elite Series, but he is well-traveled, we can call it. One of the best college anglers of all time has won the College Classic bracket to make the Bassmaster Classic. He was a journeyman on the Bassmaster Opens and had been so close to qualifying multiple years. Got it done last year, almost won Angler of the Year, and he is now getting impressive, his time to shine. He was a little, little jealous of the other rookies. They've gotten so much love, and he said, it's my turn. He's right back in the mix with those guys right now. Brandon Lester and John Cox, longtime friends, both of them sharing some spotlight in the top 10 after day one and we will be in the boat with our entire top 10 the rest of the way day two three and four and we got to talk to john cox this morning before takeoff gosh man today uh it's a little bit cooler this morning uh it's kind of weird because normally this cooler weather sometimes you get some late spawning going on um but yesterday i just couldn't seem to find that the one area that i thought it was going to happen uh there was a couple boats and, and they did catch some off beds. So, I don't know. Uh, I think we're just gonna kind of just run some some of the old stuff where I've caught them before in the past and um, you know just try to fish for some bigger fish and uh, you know where I've caught bigger fish in the past and, and maybe we'll run into some today. I mean yesterday it was quick. It was about uh, maybe 15 minutes. I caught like uh, a five and two sixes or whatever it was. You know it was, it was a couple nice ones. So. Um, yeah, same game plan today, and um, yeah. Had a terrible practice, man. Had probably my top three, in my top three worst practices ever. Never got any big bites in practice. You know, yesterday I just, I kind of did the same thing. I was doing in practice, but just run different areas, run all new water, uh, run into three big ones, and uh, those were the game changers. But uh, a couple of my buddies I'm staying with are doing the same thing. They've been catching some big ones every day, all week long, so. Today we're gonna to do the same thing, maybe run a little new water, just kind of keep fresh and uh, put our head down. You know, I may catch seven pounds, I may catch, you know, another 19 or 20, who knows? It's all about how many big bites you can get. So, you know, I'm a junk fisherman. I'm trying a whole lot of different things and just put my head down and fishing. So uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Maybe they'll bite again today and uh, keep ourselves in the top 10. Okay, so day two here at the Harris Chain, man. Uh, 
exceptional day one for me. Uh, Phil ain't got, you know, mixed emotions today, man. I, when you catch them off pretty much one spot, and that's all you got, you just don't know. You know, it could be really good again, could be, could be tough on me today. So it's just kind of a wait and see game for me. But that's how the Harris chain is. It's, it's finicky and you don't really know how your day's gonna go. But really thankful for the first day and how it went. But fishing a little old school, uh, offshore, a little bit deeper. Um, and it's gonna be fun though. We'll see what we can do today. Uh, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. But a lot of fun yesterday and uh, looking forward to the day. Hey guys, here we are, day two here on the Harris chain. And uh, you know, first day, uh, a little bit of surprise on the size of the fish. I mean, I thought I could probably, you know, round up, you know, I was gonna be tickled with 10 pounds, but uh, of course these guys always catch them. But you know, a little late day flurry there and uh, caught two great big ones. And uh, you know, we're gonna just jump around this morning and uh, you know, got got one lake that hadn't been to, not that it hadn't been fished, but uh, maybe my mind will be clear that nobody's been down that bank. So we're going to try it today. we got a long day, supposed to be in at 4.30. Y'all hang in there and see how it ends up. Joseph Webster right there with a long day. He'll be in the last flight, so he gets to fish till 4.30, like he said. Be back for weigh-in, and we will be back with you in just a few minutes. Big day today on Bassmaster Live. Day two at the Harris Chain, a lot of uncertainty. Guys who caught him yesterday, gonna try to duplicate it. Guys who didn't oh catch him, they have a great chance at redemption today. Our coverage starts a little earlier, like we said, in just seven minutes from now on Fox Sports 1. You can check us out for three hours there all day long on Bassmaster.com with Live Mix. You can check out the international feed of FS1 as well. There's so many ways to watch, and we'll see you there. Oh yeah, it ain't over till it's over, baby.